ZipPay is one of the popular buy now pay later apps. It has plenty of options and this is the video you need if you want to learn to use it. So let's get into it. Alright, when you log in for the first time, you see a few tips from Zip to improve your experience. We can close this tutorial section. This is the main interface. On the top, we see the available balance for each service. If you only have Zip Pay, you won't see Zip Money. If you scroll down, you will see this rewards section. Zip rewards you to use the app in store and online. And you can see some of the available offers here. On the main screen, you also have the option to refer friends. On the top, you have your account section. Here you can manage the Zip Pay and money settings. Things like credit limit, closing account and viewing contract are available here. If you tap on Zip Pay, you will be taken to this detailed page to see your total and available limit. If you have an amount to pay, you will see the amount and frequency here. The change schedule button lets you adjust the repayments. After tapping here, you can choose this option to pay in full and avoid the fee. Or you can go into this menu to set your day and frequency. After that, you move the slider to set the amount. Now, you can see your activity in the main account area. The green text means repayments and the black text shows your spending. Alright, let's discover how to use Zip online and in store. To see the supported websites, tap here. You can search for one on the top. After you have added items to the card, you can tap on this button to generate a card. If there already is a zip option on the checkout, you will get this message. In that case, you can just log in with your zip account and pay. If the website does not support zip, you can generate a card and copy and paste card details. We can also generate a card or barcode to pay in store and online. In this pay section, you can choose the service you want to use. If you're purchasing something online, you can use either ZipPay or Zip Money. In Australia, we can BPay, buy gift cards, or pay for subscriptions by tapping on those options. Let's see how we can generate a card and use it online. First, you will tap here and verify. Then choose the service and tap on this Generate Card Details button. After that, you will see this button. Let's copy the card number, expiry and CVV code and paste it on the website. Once the payment goes through, you will see it in the activity section. You will also get a notification in a few minutes. If using in store, you can generate a reusable card and add it to your payment app. Zip money does not support generating a card. However, you can create a barcode if the merchant supports scanning zip barcodes. All right. Let's see how to use ZipPay in store. On the ZipPay screen, you tap on this Add button. You must ensure that you have a supported wallet app installed. I have Google Wallet and this button will open it up. I will follow the usual procedure and verify my account. After that, we'll see this card right here. To pay for anything, you open the wallet app and choose this ZipPay card and tap on the terminal. During the process, you will see this icon. After the payment is complete, we can go to the activity section to see the transaction. You will also receive two notifications, one from wallet and the other one from ZipPay. Now this activity section lets you see your activity. You can tap on each transaction to see more details. Now from time to time, you will get notifications to increase the limit. The message is below the available limit circle. You will tap on it and provide details and wait for them to review your application. So other than what we covered, I don't think of anything major in the application. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Please let me know if I missed something and smash that like button if the video helped. I'll catch you later. Take care.